Hey all, I'm really excited to announce that we just released a WIP report within every organization's job tab. You might have no clue what this is, but maybe you do and you're super excited about this update. But regardless, let's start with the definition. A work in progress report, aka WIP, is a financial document that tracks the status and progress of ongoing construction projects. It provides an overview of the costs incurred, revenue recognized, and the profitability of each job. In short, it paints a clear picture of where a project stands financially at any moment in time. And the last part of that's really important. So to see this under your job list, click on the view picker and skip over to the WIP report. And there's a lot of financial information that we're about to go through, but really the meat and potatoes is along the right hand side. These are the new columns that we've added for the WIP report. So along the left hand side, we see a list of jobs and then we see some familiar financial uh, data points. So let's start with this projected price. It doesn't read approved price because this also accommodates cost plus projects. So if you have cost overruns on a cost plus job, that would increase the price the customer is going to pay, which is why it reads projected price. From there, we have our budgeted cost. This is our original budget, what we intend to spend. Our projected cost is our up to date cost projection, actual cost what we've actually spent so far. And then the cost to complete is the difference between those two, showing you it's my projected cost minus what I actually spent. It's the money I intend to spend to complete the project. The budget variance is the delta between your budget and the current projection. And then the projected profit and projected margin are pretty self-explanatory. Moving on from there, this is new. So we have the scheduled days. So scheduled days is, is the, the number of days from the start and end. Uh, uh, of this particular job and it's going to take the profit per day. So it's going to take that projected profit on the job and divide it amongst the number of days that are left. And then that will actually show you, you know, relative to all the other projects, how much you're intending to profit each day on that job. So of course th this can help inform some of the financial decisions that you make on the job, which one you decide to complete first, but that information can be very valuable. Off to the right, this in my eyes is the most important thing. The first column we see here is the percent cost complete. You can think of this as based off the total amount we're going to spend on this project, how far along are we? So it's going to take your actual cost and it's going to divide that by your projected cost. So how far along are we? Not necessarily based off the schedule, but based on how much we've spent relative to the total. So the reason this is significant is because it can help us realize ER or earn revenue. So what this number is, is the actual projected price multiplied by the percentage complete. So that number right here is going to show you essentially what you should have invoiced for so far. And to the right of this, we will see that number. What have we invoiced for so far on the job? And from there, we can determine if we've over invoiced or under invoiced. So taking it just a step back, if we've invoiced more than our earned revenue, then we have over invoiced for the job. Otherwise, we're going to under invoice. So you're always going to be in one of these columns. Either you've over invoiced or you've under invoiced or you're right on par, which I imagine would be rare, uh, or maybe at the start or end of the project, of course. Um, but those numbers help you realize a as a whole as the company, you know, how are we doing on this job? Are we invoicing in line with how we spent our money so far? At the bottom of all these columns, of course, you're going to see the summaries, which will show you, you know, in total across all these jobs, where are we at? So this is something that can be used uh, for accounting purposes. When you're running the books, you can go uh, update with a journal entry, uh, deferred revenue in a sense, and move that money kind of from one pay period to the next. An important part of this as well is under the gear icon right here, the ability to scope this report based off time. So I only want to see financial documents that were submitted before the end of last month. Because if I'm coming back, let's say, you know, six to seven days after the end of the month, it's possible that these numbers don't really make sense anymore because we've had a week of, of new documents, new financial documents that have come through. So here you could say, I only want to see the financials as of the last day of September. So select the day here. This will update all my cost projections and I'll have those numbers as of September 30th. You can also change the time entries. So if you're accruing time, you know, from the 16th through the 30th of September, you may not actually run payroll until the next month. 
So in this case, I could only include time maybe you know, through the 15th of September. So those are two separate filters, one for the financial document, one for the time entries that allow you to get the numbers that you're looking for so you can generate an accurate WIP. So that's the update. This new WIP report is going to be an extremely powerful financial document. It really is an industry standard as far as construction accounting. If you have any questions, please let us know. Contact us at support at Thank you so much.